Hi everybody, it's your girl Sega Ms. Gunna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how I make whip shea butter at home. If you guys have been watching my videos these past couple weeks, I've been kind of sharing how I've been struggling with dry skin. And typically that's not something I've had as a challenge, like my skin on my face, my skin on my body, just like all over has been really, really difficult being at home 24 7 so i ordered some shea butter online and i whipped it at home so i'm going to show you this really quick and easy way of how i did it so if you are interested and if you struggle with dry skin whether it's because you have dry skin naturally or you've been washing your hands constantly and your hands have been really dry you might find this video really interesting if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel just yet please 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 subscribe it would mean so much to me if you guys want to see more videos like this be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment if you guys have any questions in the comment section down below. All right, let's get started. So I picked up the shea butter right off of Amazon. I was looking for a pure 100% raw, unrefined, natural shea butter. So I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing shea butter for yourself. It's been really humid and warm in Toronto. So right outside of the package, the shea butter was really soft and it wasn't as hard. So I didn't have to melt it before whipping it. You can already tell how soft the shea butter is while I'm ripping it into smaller pieces. It's just so nice and soft. And I can't begin to tell you guys how amazing it feels on my skin, but I'll get to that a little later on in this video. So I had to move it over to a bigger bowl and I just grabbed the hand mixer and I just started whipping for about 15 to 20 minutes. I would pause here and there to kind of scrape off the edges using a spatula. So another thing that I did is I added a couple tablespoons of sweet almond oil. So if you guys have been following me for a really long time, you guys already know I love sweet almond oil especially when I need to repair my skin, whether it's scars or blackheads or just anything that I kind of want to remove or reduce the appearance. So that's the only ingredient that I added to the shea butter. So another thing I want to mention is I only use this on my skin. I don't use it on my hair because I have very, very fine hair. So if I were to use shea butter as a hair treatment, it will really weigh down my hair. And I'm really not trying to make my hair look any more thinner. So I try to use lighter oils on my head and more heavier oils like shea butter on my skin. If you were to use this for your hair, then I would recommend adding in more oils like jojoba oil, coconut oil, and other essential oils. But for me, I'm only gonna be using it on my skin and it's been working really, really well. So I got this container from Dollarama, like top five favorite places to shop for me. <laughs> so once I'm done whipping the shea butter, I add it to the container and I found that I had extra. So I just put it in another container and I actually gave that one away. And that pretty much wraps up how I make the whipped shea butter. So I hope this video was beneficial for you guys. It really has been helping me these past couple weeks since using it. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel just yet, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting my weekly vlog tomorrow so you guys don't want to miss it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.